Why can't some men stay loyal to girls? Uh, I feel like I'm being shut up. <laughs> this is my background music, cause I don't wanna get copyrighted. So I made my own shit to this beat, kinda laying low key, but join the team. Subscribe, subscribe. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. I'm Deja. Hello. <laughs> Today's video, I'm going to be asking a male all the things you guys, us females, want to know about them, okay? Just the questions that you guys like wanna ask, but don't know how to ask, or are afraid to ask, yes. not comfortable asking. Why did you know my head a damn headache? Hold on. You gotta come to introduce me the right way. You can introduce yourself. Is Daddy D. Dizzle? <laughs> Who, Daddy? Me? Oh, ladies. This is Layden's father. No, don't get it plugged in. Any. No, no, play. So I asked you guys to ask me some questions over on my Instagram of some things that you want to ask the male gender. That that they're supposedly afraid to answer. Yeah. So, like I always say, if you guys want to be involved in these type of videos, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Deja Lay so you can be a part of these. All right. Let's see. I screenshotted some of them. I'm gonna ask a little bit of them. Not really that much. If you guys wanna see another. Do not be chopping on it. Like in the video. Okay, let's start off with the first one. Why is it hard for a guy to open up to a girl? I wouldn't say it's necessarily hard. It's more so that a guy, well, I'm gonna just speak for my own because I can't even speak for everybody else. That it's not necessarily hard, but more so. What's a, the reason why you think most a guys? Fear. A fear of what, though? Of pushing the female away. Because like it could be like a girl that we actually really really like, uh -huh. but we're not gonna open up to her too quick or too soon because that that tends to push females away. And I then mean, it's like it's like you let somebody in on your vulnerable side, so they, they could they could take advantage of that. Yeah, and that's one reason. I feel like that's for anybody though. Or you could just be a real nigga and just not just care for real. So it's not I necessarily like that it's hard. It's just that that we just don't want to. I feel like what reasons. you said probably, and another thing for like. I would say African American male males that they're they're brought up to be like hard is a sign of weakness in a male. Like that's just how I society. I just feel like is. it's just your it's just your your preference. It's just how you think. Like I don't I don't feel weak by being sensitive. Mm -hmm. Like because I'm only sensitive to a certain situation when it's time to be. Mm -hmm. Like everything is a balance. So it's time to be hard or raw or whatever whatever it is it's a time to be sensitive if you hard don't know female want no rock hard thugged out no but actually some that girls never, like that yeah but, but when they're with old. you when they're with you it's different like most nah, most it's hood, a balance most hood it's hood n niggas out there that are sensitive. It's niggas yes. that really No, but you know what? That's bang. really attractive with a hood nigga like only sensitive with you. Like, that's what I'm saying. That's that's that I like that. Um, why do guys have morning wood every morning? I don't know. My shit just be boom every morning. I don't know why. <laughs> Is it, that it don't like, even be like a dream that happened. It don't be nothing. You know what? No, because I feel like it's just your body is so relaxed yeah. that that's a muscle. You have a son, you know. Like, like late thing be hard in the morning. I feel like be hard in the morning. <laughs> I didn't know. I thought it was only why. like when you have dreams and stuff too. No, because I don't. But so after late. having late it, I'm like, oh, okay, wow. This is. Sometimes this I don't is even just... have dreams. When I wake up, my shit be <laughs> piped out. Okay, what's a reason for a guy not to show off their significant other? Being in a relationship for like if, if a, you, a long amount of time. If you are in a relationship and your dude don't want to post you, I could be one of three reasons. Okay. He don't really mess with you like that. Mm -hmm. He got a side girl or a couple of side girls that he don't want to know about you. Uh huh. Or he just simply don't want to post nobody but the shit that he likes on his Instagram. Bottom line, period. Either figure that out. I mean, you can <laughs> rule out each one. Like you can. You could you could figure it out. If you're a female, you could figure it out. Majority of the time it's because they don't want to post you because they don't want nobody else to see you. <laughs> Bless I'm not saying that. For all my fellas out there, I apologize, bro. I've been set up. She mm. sent me up to this. Okay, does blue balls hurt that bad? I don't think I've ever had blue balls for real. And I feel like if you do get blue balls, you be dramatic. Really? I've heard about people going to the hospital. 
Like I don't, I don't, I don't think I've ever had that. And if I have, I didn't realize. Okay. Do guys really like the wigs? <laughs> Not some. I like some wigs on you. Some wigs you like look. Wigs? Yeah. Some wigs actually look really good on you. Okay. So lace fronts in general, y'all don't. You don't care. I feel like I don't like some wigs dudes that don't look like, like wigs. Yeah. Some dudes don't like lace fronts. Yeah, and I feel like if you don't, like if you a female and your wig not on right, you should not be wearing a wig. I feel like that's what dudes don't like, is wigs that look like wigs. Like, this don't look like a wig. Okay. You don't have to stare at it too hard. No, because I'm trying to figure out, like, what is that, what is that shit called? The lace. Yes, but it looks like your hairline. For real. Thanks. That mean I did good. Yeah, but you should, you got some wig, like that short, that short one that stuck right here. Yeah, I'm you like, really like that one. Okay, why can't some men stay loyal to girls? Uh, I feel like I'm being set up. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> uh, why can't some men be loyal to girls again? Either he don't really mess with you. Mm -hmm. But one, okay, we're gonna get to that. C -c finish the question. The dude don't really mess with you. Mm -hmm. Like he say he do. Um, temptation. Temptation is a mother. Freaker. Mm -hmm. uh, there's only two really. The, I feel like that first one is like the main one. Like a dude could, he could, he could F with you for real. Like he could really like, like, like you, like you for real. Mm -hmm. And still go out and cheat or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then come back to you and like still like normal routine. Okay, so see that leads me to my next question. Why is it that dudes can cheat and be okay, but once a girl cheats, it's like, oh, I'm done with you. But they expect their girl to take them back after they after they've cheated multiple times. But once like a girl cheats, like a, it's like I feel uh, like that's a double standard thing. Just like how yeah, they but say that's how girls, most guys are. Though. Just like how they say guys can go out and mess with a whole bunch of girls and not be presented as a hoe. Mm -hmm. But if a girl go mess with a couple of dudes, she's a hoe or a thigh or whatever. Yeah. It's the same thing. Okay, but why is it though? Me personally, I don't I don't look at shit like that. Like I don't I don't do that double standard thing. In that way, I feel like if you a dude and you mess with a bunch of girls, you a, a hoe ass dude. <laughs> if you a female that mess with a bunch of dudes, you would. Uh huh. Yeah. So. Okay, but the cheating. Because guys, females are stronger than dudes. What you mean? Like females need to understand that y'all got the power. I'm putting y'all on game right now. Uh, let's so hear your game. Dude, dudes gonna be mad at me for saying this if they hear this. Okay, well, say. Females got the power, right? Okay. You Females are stronger than men. What do you mean by that? Like exactly what your no, question is. Being able to say no. Being so able to say no. Basically, what no, he's no, saying no, 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 is no. men do not have standards, okay? So, no, that's if not somebody, what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> I'm saying females are stronger than men as far as when it comes to being cheated on and accepting it and moving on from oh. it. Oh. Guys can't do that. But why? I mean, they that? can, but it's, it it seems like we're more hurt because we're subjected to like I don't even know how to word it. It's just like like it don't happen often, if that makes sense. But okay, that's okay. But say, look, you if I'm we with were, you and, and you, you cheat like, on me, no, but it's look. gonna be World War Three. <laughs> but if if but you okay, say you cheat on me like two three times, and I still took you back, and I cheat on you once. And people and, like, and people no. people who say that say females are weak for yeah. taking men back. I say females are strong for that because it shows that they're willing to grow. Men are immature. Okay. And don't don't can't accept that. So they just can't accept the fact that your girl went out and yeah. All right. I don't think you fully understand what I'm saying. I don't think you understand. I don't think you understand. I don't. I don't really know how to word it, but. It makes sense to me. I'm a little confused. Like, all right, if if I cheat on you multiple times, you take me back. Everybody in the world's calling you stupid. Okay, so me, if I cheat I'm on saying, you one time, listen, like, no. I'm saying me personally, I don't feel like women are weak for taking a men a man back that cheated on them because they love them. I feel like that's a sign of strength. Okay, so why is it that if a girl say if because I cheat on you? Okay, so basically he's saying women are stronger than men. In all aspects. Okay, I'll agree. Okay, now you're taking it too far. Next question, bro. <laughs> How are boys able to block catching feelings after, okay, that's a little explicit, after having unprotected intercourse with a female. How are how are males 
Able yeah, to multiple not, times. Like, how are you able to mess with a girl multiple and times. not really mess with her? Like, like not really like her? Or is it just a front? Like, do guys, like, you actually really like her? I don't... Ask your question again. Okay, say if we messing around. What do you mean by messing around? <laughs> okay. <laughs> unprotected sex. Okay. Multiple times. Okay. So, at this point, the girl already has a whole bunch of feelings for you. Okay. And why is it that a guy is able to seem like he don't have feelings? Like, you don't really like me like that? All right, I see. I see where this is going. <laughs> you know, I'll try this. So why is that? Like, how is a dude actually just fronting with their feelings? They don't know right, how to again, show emotions. That's a, that's a, it's a preference, again. Mm -hmm. All men are different. So I'm not speaking for everybody. Um, but I'll speak for myself, for one. And say if I'm having unprotected sex with a female, best believe I really truly mess with her. Mm -hmm. For one, mm -hmm. especially if I'm doing it multiple multiple times, like I'm trying to be with this person. Mm -hmm. That's me personally. Okay, not let's say but, not unprotected. Just say if you mess around with somebody. I mean, that's different because anybody could could constantly have. All right, so if a dude is constantly having intercourse with a female, it's it's more reasons. One reason he really messed with you, but he's not just, showing no. He not showing that he really messed with you. That's what the question is. Like, how are they? How are how are some dudes oh, okay. able so, to? So he either don't really mess with you, uh -huh. and you just provide him free, uh -huh. you know, whenever he wants some. <laughs> okay. So that that could be a really big reason right there. Uh huh. Um, because you just you just constantly just giving offer him, just his offered, so he just, ain't nobody ain't no dude gonna turn down nothing unless he really really don't want it no more. Okay. Or he's playing the, the game, the hard to get game. Yeah, bro. I feel like relationships are, it's just a big ass game. Like females play it's hard true. to get, men play hard to get. Yeah, like but dude, I can understand what she's saying. If you like, <coughs> girls, girls in general just catch feelings faster than boys. Yeah. yeah. So I just feel like them could be the reason. But if it like, I feel like if if you are messing with somebody all the time and you like them and you think that they don't like you, I feel like they don't like you. Think that is it? Like they don't like you. Okay, next question. Would you date a person that's taller than you? Like a female that's taller than you? Yeah, I would. Yeah? I would. So it's just preference for the person? Yeah, it's a preference. Like, like Kevin Hart wife taller than him. Mm -hmm. They keep together. Like it works, like it, it fit. Yeah. Like his girlfriend was meant to be taller than him. Well, I feel like a person that little, you battle to find somebody taller than you. Yeah, I feel like it's weird if you would have found a female of his height or shorter. They would be little. Like it would be weird. <laughs> okay, what puts a girl in a friend zone? What puts a girl... Being too clingy is the biggest one for me, I would say. Being too clingy will definitely... Like doing too much, like in the beginning, especially in the beginning, that is, that is the biggest, the biggest issue I feel like I would yeah. say for girls like being too attached too quick uh -huh. I can say that um, expecting too much too early uh -huh. that would definitely do it <laughs> somebody said does your pee pee hit the toilet when you taking a poop at my mom's house yes I literally <laughs> tweeted I tweeted on twitter I need a deeper toilet before your mom's toilets, they are shallow. My damn penis tip while I was shitting. <laughs> oh, okay, that's gross. Was in the goddamn water. Do you hold it sometimes? Have you ever like held it? No. <laughs> really? You never like <laughs> I mean, you don't always do, but sometimes my, my thing is longer some days than others when I go use the bathroom. Okay, but have you ever held it and like used the bathroom? I want to know that. Have I held it and used the bathroom? Yeah. Like sitting down? Mm -hmm. Why would I need to hold it? It's, like when you're pooping, like do you like hold it up so it won't hit the water? No, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Some days, <laughs> some days, it actually only happened once. Your mom's toilets are shallow though. Yeah, but I literally tweeted I need a deeper toilet. What What's one thing that goes through guys' heads when they're taking a girl's virginity? Damn, really doing this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Can boys just be friends with a girl that they are attracted to? I mean, they can, but it's definitely, it's not safe. Why would you say it's not safe? Because it's always gonna be like that. I mean, I feel like over time it would, it would break down. Mm -hmm. But like, 
Like if I if I was to get if I was to have a female friend and I'm like attracted to her, I'm gonna be attracted to her. Yeah. So I'm gonna want her to be more than my friend. Yeah, but if she don't want that, it's gonna make shit weird. Yeah, it's gonna make shit awkward. You're gonna see her liking somebody else. And exactly. So I feel okay. like it's not safe to. I mean, you can for your it's emotion. To. Yeah, it's not safe. You can always do it and just not say nothing and just continue to, to move on. But if you're strictly in the friend zone and you're still attracted to this person, you need to get over okay. it because that shit will hurt your feelings. Girls, that's another thing. Girls just be ignoring signs and stuff. A dude could give a female the same signs as an ex did and the girl will still go after it. Why is that? Wait, what? What was your question? Like, if you was to start talking to a dude right now, mm -hmm. and he started showing you signs of things you didn't like that I used I to... I would not talk to him. No. So why do some females do that? I don't know. That's just some girls. Maybe because they really like the person. Like, they really cute. Some people are really, like... Looks are not everything for No, women. but some people are really, like, if you look good, like, oh my god... That's weak to me, though. I mean, some people are like that. But if I'm if I'm starting to mess with somebody and they start showing me signs that I didn't like about you, I would not mess with them. That's I'm so not about weird. to redo this process. No. Okay, last question because the camera's about to die. What what goes through a guy's head when they're just staring at a girl? What go? You're hurting his back. Oh, sorry, baby. When they're just staring at a girl. Uh, it could be some disrespectful stuff like, dang, I wish I could hit that. Mm -hmm. Um. When they're staring, you're either really, really super duper attractive to that person. You look familiar. Um, you plotting to, to try to get her number and talk to her. Mm -hmm. um, if I'm really staring at a girl, it's either because she's like really super duper attractive to me. And like I'm, a, I'm trying to get her number type shit. Okay. Okay. Alrighty, so I feel like that will conclude the video. If you guys want to see a part two, hit that like button. I'll Comment down it. below. I apologize to all the fellas out there. We don't care. Comment down below some questions you guys want to ask if you do want a part two. I broke the guy code. Why? I put y'all on game. Anywho, that will conclude today's I'll video. <laughs> Maybe I'll probably be down here. What are you about? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow me on all my social media accounts. They are down below. Follow DJ. Go check out his video we did on his channel. I did it. I did it a different way though. Yeah. This is Layden. Um, he just woke up. But yeah. On that note. Bye.